Okay, so the question here is create a truth table for the following compound proposition. So I'm going to assume this C right here is going to be an if then, right? Different people write uh, diff, uh, if thens differently. Some people write it will write it as an arrow uh, like that. Some people will write it as a little horseshoe. I assume you're doing a C here for if then, right? So uh, the prop the compound proposition here is if Q then not p right so first we we've got we're going to notice we have two uh, propositional variables and we have two logical connectives here an if then and a not so what's our main logical connective going to be well since uh the not attaches directly to the p we might as well put parentheses here and see that our main logical connective is an if then it's connecting q with not p so how are we going to do a truth table for this okay so we're going to list out each of the conditions uh for uh q and p possibly being true or false so one possibility is q is true and p is true so they're both true another possibility is q is false and p is true Third, we have the possibility that Q is true and P is false. And finally, that they are both false. So we have four different possibilities here, both true, Q is true, P is false, Q is false and P is true, and they're both false. Okay, so now we were gonna wanna uh, work outwards from the uh, logical connectives that uh, connect closest to each of our variables uh, outward to the main logical connectives. So let's uh, see uh, what we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna do under the not symbol is see how this not affects the truth, uh, the truth values of the truth conditions for uh, P, right? So we know if P is true, then not P is false. Same thing here. And if P is false, we know that not P is gonna be true, right? So here we have false, false, true, true. So if P is true, then not P is false. And if P is false, not P is true. So now we have uh, all of the tools needed to evaluate this middle conditional here, right? So we need to remember that a conditional is false only when the antecedent is true and the consequent is false. It's true the rest of the time. So we'll evaluate each of these conditions and see if we can find any in which the antecedent is true and the consequent is false. So let's look at the first one. In the first one, our antecedent here is Q. And that's true in our first, uh, in let's say world of one, but not P, our consequent is false. Ah, so that will be a case in which the antecedent is true and the consequent is false, making that entire conditional false right there. So we label that one false. Second, we see in this uh, world, we'll call it world two, uh, Q is a uh, false. But not P is also false. And under that condition, we know uh, if P uh, or if Q, then not P is only uh, false if Q is true, but not P is false. And under this condition, uh, Q is false, so we can label this true. Under condition two, under world two, we'll call it down here, they are both true. So in, under that condition, if they're both true, then the conditional is true. And finally, the last condition, even though we have the antecedent is false, but the consequent is true. So under that condition, it's still true, right? So here you have it. This is the going to be your truth table here, right? So under our main connective, uh, we have false, true, true, true. And we got that by labeling Q, true, false, true, false, P, true, true, false, false. Then flipping the value of each. So from true, true, false, false, under the uh, negation, we got false, false, true, true. And then evalu evaluating the conditional by finding those conditions under which the antecedent is true here and the consequent is false and labeling those false and true otherwise. And that's how we got the uh, truth table for this.